welcome to my channel. So today I am going to share with you three of my all-time favorite fall coats and they are leather and they are from the 60s well probably not 60s but these are definitely old school types of coats and I love them these coats were thrifted and the second I walked into the thrift store I I I had to have these coats because not only do I love the details guys these have details that you cannot find today in many coats because the coats of today are very sleek and very clean and with not much details while I do double and do like to wear that types of coats I love the old time kind of coats with all the details for example this one oh, look at this guys let me just put this down for a minute of the three this is the simplest and at the same time it's also very very much more aligned with today's type of style it doesn't have as much details as i would love but i love the fit look i love this pocket detail right here oh love the way that looks i love the huge lapels oh my god i love the shine on this leather the thickness just it's just beautiful and yes i said it didn't have details but if you look at the bottom of this coat this has so much details right here i love this right here and it goes all the way to the back and the front oh my god that's the reason why I love it. I would choose this coat any day over the clean, sleek one because it's my style and to each their own. But for the fall, these are some of the coats I definitely rock and I've been rocking them year after year since I've bought them. And I've had them for over probably eight to ten years now so yeah definitely the best twenty dollars or thirty dollars I think I paid thirty dollars for this that I've ever spent so much wearing out of this such a great coat oh my god love 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 what's in it strings <laughs> This was such a lucky find, guys. I just really enjoy this coat. I love the way it looks. And while sometimes I don't like when a leather piece is too shiny, this just has enough shine to say, listen, I am leather and I am here to show you leather and I am here to show you style and I am here to show you what the 70s was all about. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. This is the red subscribe button right here. It's free. Next, you'll click the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much and let's get to the video. The second piece, guys, this has details to die for. Look at this, look. Ah, oh, look at the color of this coat. Of the three, this is the warmest because it has an inside lining. 
oh my god I can wear this in the winter and not feel very cold oh my god the work that went into this piece oh. I am not saying it's a minus 30 degrees coat but I've worn this coat like so many times in the winter and it has kept me warm really really great piece just love it and um, yes I do button it but oftentimes I leave it undone this coat is such a statement coat I think it's the color it's so rich raspberry like and very very much a fall coat it's just absolutely gorgeous they don't make coats like these anymore and that is why I love love this piece it's stunning stunning guys and I know what you're going to say about this piece but this piece is my pride and joy as well because I got this piece at such a bargain price and it's brand new and here's the reason why I got it at such a price of course my Burberry coat is one of my favorites I love to rock I've invested in this piece since um, a year ago and and love it and you would notice that it's very oversized by choice love it that way it has very big wide shoulders that's because it is a man's coat and I intentionally, intentionally chose it for that purpose. So I really, really love this piece. A really great piece for the fall and easing into the winter. Elegant, gorgeous, great for any occasion. You can't go wrong with a, a beige Burberry coat, right? <laughs> This was such a lucky find and I got it on Vestier Collective. The reason why it wasn't sold it's because the pictures that were used to advertise this piece were not very very clear. So I assume that a lot of people just dismissed it and it didn't look as if it was brand new but it actually was. It came with the tag and all so yes guys it's a bit dirty but excuse that what I love about this particular coat it's all the details I am into details regardless of whether or not it's a big brand name it's a high-end or low-end I love details look at the details on this one look look at the bottom of it look look at how gorgeous it is it's just fabulous I love these types of details and most of the female version do not have all these details I just love it it's such a great investment piece and I got it at a really 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 great price so really love it love it love it love it love it I love the big lapels I love the oversized fit it is such a gorgeous piece for me and so in love with it and last but not least is this oh uh, this rust colored orange looking coat guys uh, this is another one with tons of details on it that I just love. Look at the belt at the back. Look guys, look at this. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. This, I had a new lining added to it. Oh my God, love it. This was my very first leather coat that I thrifted and it was the one that made me fall in love with the 1970s and 80s and 90s styles because of course it's my era I grew up in that time so I love 
that style. And so it had me hunting for these types of coats every single time that I go thrifting. And so far, as you have seen, thrifting hasn't disappointed me. Oh my God, I just love, love it. These are great alternatives for your regular trench coats. Just add a bit of leather. Just, just leather it up for the fall. And you would see how many notches your outfits, simple outfits. This, I think, is like maybe 45 percent outfit when you add leather coat to it a leather coat oh my god it goes up to 90 90 it gets an upgrade of 90 percent <laughs> up to 90 percent no exaggeration really really love these coats so if you're looking for a great bagging on leather coat if you love leather like i do definitely check out your nearest thrift store and grab yourself some 1970s and 1980s style of coats i think they're fabulous they're elegant they're well made and they're environmentally friendly and you can get a lot away from them. These were found in very mint condition. So look for pieces that are in great condition and you'll be fine. So hope you enjoy this and find some inspiration this season and just have fun with what you already have in your wardrobe trust me there are treasures in your wardrobe and at thrift stores if you take the time to go and search and yes it needs investment in time take care guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye